We know that foreign nation state actors are interested in access to these systems. Um, we've seen warnings from federal agencies, even in the Trump era, uh, that you know federal employees should assume that their information is being targeted and sought by foreign nation state actors. Um, so when uh, the Doe, in, in our case, when when that person's information um, is in a database that is now subject to these additional vulnerabilities, um, they become subject to the risks that go along with uh, breach, that go along with foreign hacking. Um, that information falls into the hands now also of Doge personnel who are not subject to the oversight of the agency that maintains the database. Um, they may be using it, and, and we're seeing you know growing evidence of this for, for purposes that are quite inconsistent with why the information was placed in the system to begin with. This is a personnel records database. This is not meant to be a piggy bank of data that the Doge can come to and just raid for whatever it deems to be fraud, waste, and abuse. Um, and, and so that, you know, the, the risk of adverse actions taken by the federal government against uh, the Doe plaintiff in our case and and millions of other or hundreds of thousands of other federal employees um, is increased every time that disclosure um, is, is made to another person.